वेलकम टू फिजिक्स मेड इजी चैनल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरियस एनर्जी लेवल एंड स्पेक्ट्रा वन सेकेंड एंड देन वी शैल बी फोकसिंग ऑन एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम तो द फर्स्ट सीरीज इज द लाइमन सीरीज लाइमन सीरीज इज फॉर्म वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम हायर लेवल जम्प्स टू द लेवल नंबर वन एन इज इक्वल टू वन तो दिस इज कॉल्ड लाइमन सीरीज and the range of lyman series is roughly you can say 912 angstroms to lyman series goes 912 angstroms to uh, 1216 angstroms in denominator this range 12 of 16 angstroms lyman series varies from this and then we have got balmer series balmer series lies in visible region and this varies from angstroms to 6563 angstroms this goes from here to here to it lies roughly in visible region visible region this lobama series lies in visible region some part of the bama series for example 200 angstroms range here it lies in ultraviolet region <clears throat> but but predominantly bama series lies in visible region and then we have got parchan series for parchan series the range is maximum 1875 angstroms it goes up to 8200 angstroms lambda min and lambda max in nanometers so this range has been basically this is in nanometers so the minimum uh, for parchan series starts with 1204 angstrom i am deliberately writing in in angstrom and it uh, goes up to you can say uh, 18700 and 50 angstroms and then we have got bracket series in bracket series it goes from now 1458 angstroms it goes up to you can say uh 40000 angstroms 40510 angstroms so this lies in far infrared this also lies in far infrared and let me revise if the electron jumps from higher level to lyman to first level lyman series to second level balmer series to third level parson series to fourth level bracket to fifth level fun series now i shall be drawing energy level diagram <clears throat> and this range is very important remember this range for lyman it is 92 to uh, 1 12 of 12 you can say 92 to 12 12 angstroms and uh, this from 3600 angstroms to uh, 65 60 angstroms and this goes from uh, you can say <clears throat> Uh, 8,000, 8,200 angstroms to 19,000 angstroms, and this goes from uh, 14,580 angstroms to 40,510 angstroms, and P fun goes from 22,790 angstroms to. Uh, 74600 angstroms and next we have got energy level diagram now in energy level diagram total energies of the electrons in different stationary orbits of an atom is called energy level diagram of that atom so this is e the value of e is as we know the value of energy in the nth level is en 
just remember this is 13.6 divided by n square and here we have got z square for hydrogen atom z is equal to 1 and when we put n is equal to 1 we get e1 e1 and there is minus sign in front of it e1 is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt and here if I write this formula e n is minus 13.6 divided by n square electron volt and similarly for n is equal to 2 e2 is minus 13.6 divided by 2 square electron volt e2 is minus 3.4 electron volt and now in next case we shall be having 3 this is 13.6 divided by 3 square means 9 you can see so it will be minus 1.51 electron volts and next e4 minus 13.6 divided by 4 square that is 16 and this is minus 0.85 electron volt then e5 minus 13.6 divided by 5 square 25 minus 0.54 electron volt e6 minus 13.6 divided by 6 square this is minus 0.37 electron volt e7 minus 13.6 divided by 7 square minus 28 electron volt now these are the various energy levels for example e1 minus 13.6 e2 minus 3.4 e3 minus 1.51 electron volt e4 minus 0.85 electron volt e5 minus 0.54 electron volt e6 minus uh, 0.37 electron volt e7 minus 0.28 electron volt so these are the various energy levels and now let us draw this diagram this is known as the energy level diagram energy level diagram is we create this is the zero level note down this level is the zero energy level total energy of hydrogen atom of an electron in various orbits of hydrogen atom is low. If the electron is in the first level, for example, this if the electron is in the first level, this corresponds to energy of minus 13.6. And this is the the next if second in second orbit you can see the gap is there is a huge gap in second there is minus 3.4 electron volt and uh, remember that here the energy is given in electron volt this is minus 13.6 for first level for second level n is equal to 2 and the energy level is minus 3.4 electron volt and this is the third for third this is minus 1.5 electron volt for fourth this is minus 0.85 electron volt for fifth minus 54 electron volt this is for fifth this is for sixth this is for seventh now these are the various levels of energies <clears throat> and this is zero level zero level corresponds to n is equal to infinity and now how Lyman series is formed we have already discussed now we shall discuss it in energy level diagram from higher level this is the minimum you can say wavelength this corresponds to minimum wavelength 912 angstroms you can say this corresponds to that and this corresponds to the next level and this corresponds to basically this will correspond to uh, you can say minimum because energy gap is maximum here if from infinity if 
electron from infinity jumps to the Lyman series, then the gap is, now I will give here you the formula for calculation of energy in electron volt is equal to 1.23 into 10 raised to power 4 divided by wavelength lambda in angstroms. And now we will make calculation here for lambda minimum for lambda minimum delta E should be maximum and this is minus 13.6 and the highest value here is 0 difference between these two is 13.6 so means if i want to calculate now lambda min will be equal to 1.23 into 10 raised to power 4 here i have expressed energy in electron volt which is 13.6 this will be lambda min is equal to well of 300 divided by 13.6 so this will come out to be roughly 912 angstrom all of this result will be in angstrom lambda in angstrom is equal to i can also write this is a shortcut kindly remember this this is a shortcut. You don't need to change the value of uh, energy in joules. Just put the value here in this formula and write the value of energy directly in electron volts. This is energy in electron volt. Here it will be approximately 10. The gap is approximately 10. And if there I put the value of 10, then lambda max will come out to be this is 12 of 300 divided by lambda in electron volt this will be roughly 10.2 i will assume it to be 10 so this is roughly this much so this is the maximum value of lambda this is how can you make calculation about maximum and minimum value and the same now this is the second level minus 3.4 electron volt if electrons fall from the upper level to this level Baumann series in visible region and then Parschen same is the case of Parschen if the electron from higher level falls in the third level Parschen series is formed and this wavelength corresponds to uh, um, maximum wavelength and uh, if from infinity this corresponds to maximum wavelength and if from infinity falls in this that will correspond to minimum i will talk about just maximum if electrons from higher level falls in the fourth level in that case bracket series is formed and this corresponds to lambda maximum on the same line if uh, electron from the higher level falls to the fifth level then fund series is formed and this corresponds to lambda maximum in this way, we have got energy level diagram. Now we have done with uh, Bohr atom. I would like to just uh, go through the limitations of uh, Bohr model. The theory is applicable only to hydrogen atom first. Like single electron atom and fails in case of two or more electrons. In the spectrum of hydrogen atoms, certain spectral lines are not single, but are closed. Bohr model fails to explain hyperfine structure of hydrogen spectrum. It could not explain why only circular orbits should be chosen and not elliptical orbits. An electron exhibits the property of waves, so the orbits of electrons cannot be exactly defined in Bohr theory. Orbits cannot be exact because electrons have wave character. Bohr's theory does not tell anything about relative intensities. 
could not explain splitting of uh, spectral lines when magnetic field is applied. For example, Zeeman effect and electric field is applied, Stark effect. There are two Zeeman effects, normal Zeeman effects and anomalous Zeeman effect. The next is hydrogen-like atom. The hydrogen-like atom is an ion made up of a nuclei with charge plus ZE, but one electron revolving around the nucleus. For example, helium, ion, helium plus one, beryllium plus three, and lithium plus two. They are the hydrogen-like ions. So radius of the nth orbit in hydrogen-like ion is given by Rn is equal to, you can see it, 0.53 and square by z in n terms. So first orbit of helium plus, in this case, n is equal to 1 and uh, z is equal to 2. So this is the formula, first orbit of lithium, in this case, z is equal to 3 and uh, again n is equal to 1 then first orbit of beryllium in this way we can calculate the radii radius of various orbits of the ions by making use of this formula and on the same lines this is basically the shortcut for calculating radius kindly remember this shortcut this is shortcut for calculating the value of radius in for various atoms in various orbits. This is shortcut formula for calculation of, uh, you can say, velocity in various orbits for various atoms. Now, electron energy of electron in nth orbit of hydrogen-like atoms, for example, E n dash is minus 13.6 z square by n square electron volt. So, this is basically the formula for energy. You can also make use of this formula for making calculations of energy, this formula for making calculations of velocity, and uh, this formula for making calculations of radii. We have got another formula for making calculations of, uh, uh, we have done it in uh, this part. If you want to make calculations uh, for, current this is the formula for frequency nu is equal to 6.57 10 is to power 15 z square by n cube and this is the formula for current this is z square by n cube formula you can simplify it and just assume it to be one the current i is equal to z square by n cube milliamperes we can write formula for current here as well so the formula for current I in nth orbit, the formula for current I in nth orbit is Z square by N cube milli ampere. So this is the formula for current, electric current I mean to say. This milli is 10 raised to power minus 3 or I can just write this as Z square divided by n cube into 10 raised to power minus 3 n terms. Next is excitation and uh, ionization potential. Excitation energy of an atom is defined as the energy required by its electron to jump from ground state to any one excited state. So the energy of E fourth is minus 0.85 electron volt and the energy of the first orbit. This is the energy of the first orbit. For example, this is the energy of the first orbit, first orbit. And this is the energy of the fourth orbit. We subtract them, we get this. This is 12.7 electron volt. This is the energy level. And now, if you remove electron, it means excitation potential, Vi, excitation potential is 12.75 volt. If you, if this much of potential is available, then electron from the first level 
can be shifted to fourth level. Similarly, we have got ionization energy. It is defined as the energy required to knock an electron completely from the atom. The energy required to take an electron from the ground state to the outermost state. In case of a hydrogen atom, this ionization energy is the energy of the first level. This is the energy of the first level. This is the ionization energy. And this ionization energy corresponding potential V just remove E from the value of electron volt. This 13.6 volt potential is required. For helium, you can say we just need 50. 54.4 volt V I will write here this is 54.4 volt of potential is required now excitation potential it is an accelerating potential that if you bombard an electron with this potential then it will it is having sufficient energy to raise electrons from one level to the other. For example, excitation potential from first level to fourth level. We have just calculated it. Excitation energy is 12.74. <coughs> we have just made its calculation here. 12.75. Excitation potential is just remove electron from here. For excitation potential, just remove electron from here. So this is the excitation potential. He has written it here correctly. So this was the excitation energy was 12 of point. Excitation energy was 12.75 electron volt and excitation potential is just 12.75 <coughs> similarly ionization energy for helium is hydrogen is this much and ionization potential V is equal to just 13.6 volt ionization energy for helium is 50 54.4 electron volt. This is ionization energy for helium. And excitation potential for, uh, sorry, ionization potential for helium is 54.4 volt. Just remove electron. So this is the ionization potential for hydrogen. So with these words, I finish this session. And in the next session, we will do the last article of this chapter that is x-ray spectral continuous and characteristic spectra so with these words i finish this lecture and we will meet in the next